So let's just make this very clear. My nan, my 97 year old nan here, who we have taken from the care home because we haven't seen her for nine months, is now being taken back by force to her care home. My mother has been arrested. My mother is in the back of the car here. She is a nurse. She is a fully qualified nurse who is wishing to care for her own mother. And here we have an incredible use of police time to take my 97 year old grandmother back into a care home where she is deteriorating, where we haven't been able to see her for nine months. Now, I love you and we are going to fight for you. Let's talk to Leandra Ashton now. Uh, good morning to you, Leandra. Morning, Julia. Good morning. Um, I think it was incredibly brave of you to put that out online, but I'm really pleased you did because I think it's really important that people understand this isn't just happening to one family. This isn't a one off. There are tens and tens and tens of thousands of families right now who are being separated from their loved ones in a care home. Tell us a little bit about about the, the background to this and, and your 97 year old grandmother and the, and the situation she's been in. Yeah, so, I mean, we've tried to go down every official channel we could. Um, I've written to my MP countless times, had no response. Uh, we uh, raised what's called a safeguarding issue because we could see the deterioration of my nan early down in lockdown. Um, she has dementia. It takes a lot of time to feed her and to give her drinks. And in a care home setting, the what we found over the years is it's just not it's just not adequate. Well, that's it. Um, I think a lot of people are wondering, well, hold on a minute. How can you not have the right to bring your grandmother home to her loving family, uh, especially with her, uh, her daughter, who's able as a nurse to care for her? We know she can she knows what to do. Well, on what legal basis can they stop her leaving the care home? So when someone has dementia, um, they, there has to be something called a power of attorney in place. Now we have power of attorney for my nan's finances, but it was an oversight by my grandfather before he died, thinking that my nan would always be able to express what she wanted. So the power of attorney for well-being or, or well um, for health wasn't put in place. So now all decisions have to be made with the local authorities. But unfortunately, the local authorities are... are cutting us out of the conversation. It took the police to tell us yesterday that my nan has a new social worker. And they then informed us that we weren't on the correct paperwork. So it becomes like this Kafka-esque nightmare where you're just stuck and unable to, to just quite simply have any influence over your loved one's um, life. Well, your, your grandmother is effectively being held prisoner. I mean, to all intents and purposes, her family want to, to have her home safely and she can't leave. Uh, the state has basically taken over control of her life rather than her family being able to care for her.